एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Do you know you can gift your face shaped chocolates to your loved ones this valentines Do you want to know how I'll tell you in today's video Hello everyone I am Anmol Bhatia and welcome to S Chand Academy In today's video I'll be telling about the additive manufacturing concept If you want to have a detailed conceptual clarity on the topic you can refer to the book by S Chand Publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so we are starting the topic of additive manufacturing uh for the course manufacturing practices before uh beginning the topic let's first understand that what is a manufacturing process so manufacturing process is a process to produce goods for use by the human beings and why do we uh, want to process the goods we want to process the goods for obtaining the desired shape and sizes for the desired properties and characteristics and for the desired surface finish and close tolerances this is particularly called as the subtractive manufacturing this concept that i have previously told you about the manufacturing that is called as subtractive manufacturing and let me just tell you an example from the scratch which is the creation of a model on a software so let's say i have created a model of a sphere on the software and i have generated a cnc program in order to cut that object so the cnc program will machine away the unwanted material so unwanted material is removed and that unwanted material is possibly sent to recycling and then this particular structure which is half spherical ball can be obtained so this is the modern way of doing the manufacturing process or this is a modern way of uh, machining the object but this is having in connection uh, with the conventional manufacturing processes that we have seen now let us come to the topic which is the additive manufacturing in the additive manufacturing what hap what happens the similar 3d model is sliced into the thin slices by the help of the software so these you can see there are thin slices uh which is being done by the software and machine builds this with the help of layers or it uh, gets added these layers get added up to form a new object which is the solid object so here in the additive manufacturing we go layer by layer and we put layers together so that the solid object is formed so additive manufacturing as per the definition from ASTM which is American Society for Testing and Materials they have given this definition as it is the process of joining the material to make the objects from the 3d model data and it is do done usually layer by layer which is the opposite of that subtractive manufacturing methodologies so what i have told you i have told you the subtractive manufacturing methodology and this subtractive method uh, methodology is opposite to what we are looking at we are looking at the additive manufacturing in which we have the material and that material is added layer by layer so that a 3d object is produced commonly this additive manufacturing is known as 3d printing so we can print the 3d objects nowadays with the help of a 3d printer so these objects can be printed with the help of 3d printers and the basic idea or the basic concept is additive manufacturing in which the uh, the machine will produce components in layers and those layers are added so as to produce the entire 3d object and in this process if uh, the component uh, has some variability in the geometric uh, dimensions so 
this process can be easily adopted so this process generally don't have any limitations in terms of the geometric aspects in our previous videos we have seen the details about the cnc machining also and i have told you that it is one of the latest uh, technology that is used uh, to prepare the intricate jobs but it also has certain limitations so let us have a look at certain problems which uh, the cnc machine faces and the additive manufacturing do not so the case is when we want to produce this model of the cup let's say so in this the cavity is too deep to be machined so if we are incorporating the cnc machine and we want to machine this cavity so this cavity if it is too deep so that can be a problematic situation for a cnc machine the undercut that we will be giving here in order to remove this material so that undercut cannot be performed without a three axis machining setup so we need to have a three axis machining setup if we are incorporating cnc into it then the base cannot be machined because there is a requirement of a separate fixture for it and additionally these sharp internal features cannot be machined without the tool radius so cnc also has certain problems and if we are ma manufacturing this object with the help of cnc there are certain problems that the machine will face now if we want to uh, manufacture the same component with the help of the additive manufacturing technology so for that we have a set procedure and in uh, uh, one go you can say the the objects can be prepared so let us have a look at the concept of this additive manufacturing and in case of the cup same case additive manufacturing and we'll consider the similar example of that cup only so what happens um, initially we'll do the file transfer for machining so we'll do initially the file transfer so file maybe uh, it would be that file which would be sent to the machine in order to prepare the components machine or maybe a 3d printer in order to prepare the components here we'll have that file as an stl file this stl stands for stereolithography and this converts the object into a form which is the breakage of the components into triangles so let's say if i want to produce this component which is a 3d component this stl part or this step will convert this into the form of triangles so the triangle formation will be done here and after that this model will be sent to the machine or this stl part will be sent to the machine the machine will build up finally build up means that initially we will transfer the file or our 3d model into the machine and that 3d model is converted into the stl file that means that cup model will be converted into the triangular uh, cases or it will be uh, broken into triangles then finally the machine will build up and what happens it would uh, process or will have certain post processive actions post processive action means we have to do certain actions after the development of the components so what is this build up the the printer will print the entire structure of the cup in one go that means the printer will print this structure in one go with the help of the layer addition concept there is no requirement of machining from this side or that side or the cavity creation uh, because the program is being made like that additionally the printer will also print that handle post processing instructions or post processing requirements are to join all uh, these two components together maybe with the help of the adhesive bonding or with the help of some other manufacturing processes 
this is one of the aspect one of the example that i am telling you but in majority of the situation the entire object is produced in one go so there can be a possibility that this cup can be produced entirely in one go with the help of the handle and lastly it can also be used for certain applications the product is ready for the circulation in the market so you can drink your tea in this cup directly which is being 3d printed so as compared to cnc machining this component or this additive manufacturing concept has certain advantages and this steps or these processes that i have told you is the basic uh, process which is being used for additive manufacturing in which there is file transfer and conversion of that file into stl file then the machine build up will take place in which the 3d printed components will appear and there are certain post processes which are to be done on the item that is being produced and finally it can be readily used for certain applications so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learnt about the concepts of additive manufacturing we have also seen the difference of subtractive manufacturing and additive manufacturing and how this process finds advantageous when compared to a cnc machining process in the next part of the video we'll have certain applications of the additive manufacturing processes if you want to learn the concepts in detail you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting you can like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder